Hey guys, Jen here. I am doing the tutorial this month for you guys. And I asked a while ago if you would be interested in the sugar scrub, emulsified sugar scrub recipe that I'd use. And you guys all said yes. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, we have done a sugar cube recipe for you guys. So this one is a bit different. Now, my recipe actually is very thick when it sets. Um, I wanted to do this recipe because I did a show last fall and it was by far my top seller of that show. I took one of the jars, I uh, put it in the bathroom at the place and I put a note in there with where my booth was and I put a little spoon in there and I put a little note that, you know, explained that it was a sugar scrub to try it, you know, etc. And you guys, I sold that stuff like crazy. So, I mean, I have, would have people come out and they would come straight to my booth and they would be like, do you have the sugar scrubs? And I'm like, yes. And it was a huge, huge seller. I'm just wiping down um, my utensils here. Just making sure everything is good and clean. I have washed it already, but you know, I like to make sure it's good and dry. Anyway, so this recipe, there's 15% solid butters. That can be whatever butters you like. I'm actually going to use some of our cocoa butter wafers. It is 62% liquid oil. I'm going to use a mix of rice bran and jojoba. You can use any combination you want. 10% e-wax. I use the soft and silky e-wax. There's 8% steric acid. And that is what makes this thick is the steric acid. If you find this recipe to be too thick to your liking, um, you can always back down and do half the percentage of steric acid and add that to um, either your liquid or your hard butters, your liquids, and you know, kind of tweak with it that way. 5% um, beeswax or any type of actual wax and then two present preservative and then your um, fragrance or your um, essential oil of choice. Now, of course, I'll have this recipe broken down for you. Now, the sugar, I use just plain old regular table sugar, granulated sugar, um, and I use 140% of my recipe. I'm making a 16 ounce recipe which will fill up four 8 ounce jars. But the jars will weigh roughly 9.5 to 10 ounces when they're full. So I'm going to start by dividing up all of my hard oil stuff that needs to be melted. So let's grab. I need that back. Oh, what do you need it for? Everything. You don't. <laughs> I need to get some stuff off my workstation. I'm going to start with my cocoa butter. So I'm going to do 2.4 ounces. Yeah, no one wants to say hi. There's 2.4 ounces of my cocoa butter. <laughs> Ewax is 1.6. I don't never remember the totals unless I'm making several batches at once. And then I remember. Okay. Now, I'm doing this in lemongrass essential oil. It um, was very popular when I was at the show, and I'm actually, I sold the last one. Uh, well, I've made it several times, but I sold the last one today, so I'm going to make some more. 1.25 ounces. 
two five ounces of stearic acid. Now you guys can do these individually if you're concerned you may overweigh in your container. You can measure them in, in their own little container and then add them all together. If you're afraid. I did that at, when, I, when I first started. Alright. 0.8 ounces of wax. This also uh, makes it thick. So you can always, you know, you can tweak this recipe to find what you like the best. I love that this recipe is super thick. Okay, so this is all of my hard stuff that needs to be melted. I'm actually going to pop this in the microwave on 30 second burst until it's all melted. So I'll be back uh, when we do that. But well, first I'll measure out my sugar for you guys. I measure out my sugar and my sugar, I do 22 ounces for this actual recipe. Got a cup down in this bag. Austin's over here whispering. He's afraid to get on camera. <laughs> He's saying that that's that the one that I use for that's the bowl that I use for movie night. Mm-hmm. We used to. Before I transferred it over to soap and stuff. Because we used to have movie night. Okay. On Fridays. So there's that. And this is the point where if you want to color it, um, you can add mica to this. I would start with just like a quarter teaspoon or so. And you can put it in your salt or your sugar and uh, mix it all around in here and it'll get it all divided up for you. So one other thing before I start melting is I will measure out my liquid oils. So let's start out with rice bran. I'm going to use nine ounces. I use most rice bran because jojoba oil is very expensive guys. And then I'm going to use right at an ounce of jojoba oil. Okay. I'll add my preservative in here. You can use your preservative of choice. I use um, Germal. It's a broad spectrum. go. You can even back that down to point uh, to one percent. And then I'm going to use lemongrass essential oil. And for this I'm only using um, two percent. So not a whole lot. It, ooh, did you guys see me make a mess? It does not take much to scent this. You have to think. It's not going through saponification or anything like that. There's not anything going on to hinder the scent. Alright, so I can move this out of the way. Look, okay, I've made a mess. Alright guys, I'm going to pause you guys. We're going to get this melted up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this took about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. And I am still, it's still just a little bit that I'm stirring to get melted. Now, I'm going to pour my liquid oils into this. And it will kind of solidify. You guys will notice. I'm kind of, I'll zoom you in. It will start to solidify and kind of get lumpy, which is normal. You're just going to stir it. It's totally normal because it's 
wanting to reset. See how thick that is? Stir and make sure everything's good and incorporated. We're going to pour it into our sugar. Scrape out my bowl. Or my measuring container here. Nice and well. And then we're just going to start hand stirring this in. We want to mix it really well. It's thick. Sometimes it's hard. That's okay, and the longer you take, the faster this is going to set up on you guys. So I want to tell you to mix quickly and well. Get it all well incorporated. Scrape the bottom of that bowl. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Scrape the bottom of that bowl. Get everything good and mixed. And then you want to immediately get it into your container. Because like I said, it will start to set. Now, I make a mess doing this. I always do. But I will clean them up. See, look, making a mess. There's real no, I mean, you could use a big old funnel if you wanted. But there's not really like a perfect way to do this. Now, I'm going to tap these down and I will take the rest and I'll start topping these all off to where they're all even. You brought it in here. Go get your chair. Mama, I haven't brought my chair in here, so doesn't he have to go get it? How can I my chair? Hey, are you done? No, I'm videoing. Can I talk? Not in here. Okay, guys. All right, I gotta pause you a minute. Mail's here. Okay, guys, sorry about that. While you, I was gone, or while it was paused, I wiped up my my containers. They just, they're starting to solidify because it's been like ten minutes. But I wiped them up uh, around the edges. Thank you, Noah. And I'm gonna put my lids on. And but this is all there is to it on your label. Label is super easy to list your ingredients in order, uh, in, what is it, descending order, or, oh yeah, one of them orders, I can't remember, I think it's descending, <laughs> oh, it's a crazy day, you guys, I hope you guys are all doing awesome, hope you're staying healthy and not getting sick, uh, staying to yourselves, you know, here at the shop, all we do is we come in here, we ship orders, and that's it. We go home. We don't do anything. And Austin's over here coughing and laughing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. It's an emulsified sugar scrub. Dude, Noah, really? <laughs> And emulsified, let me explain that really quick. The reason I emulsify the sugar scrub is that it turns the oils that are in here to a lotion. When you put this on your skin and you rub it around and you get your hands wet and you, it will turn into a lotion, you guys. You will scrub, get all the dead skins off, and then it's like you've put lotion on. You rinse off, you just pat dry, and it's amazing. This is way different than your typical sugar scrub. If you've never made an emulsified scrub, I highly recommend you to try this. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. I have the description below for you guys to copy the recipe. Bye!